Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. If you have ever felt annoyed having to write full parameter types in lambdas just because you used ref, out or in, I have got some great news for you. Shisha 14 just made your life a little easier. So before we get started, just a quick reminder to subscribe my channel, hit the red button and don't forget to click on the little bell icon that way you will be notified every time I upload a new video. Ok without any further delay, let's get started. Use ref out in in lambdas without declaring types in Shisha 14. Before Shisha 14, if you wanted to use a lambda with a modifier like out, you had to write out the whole type. Let's understand it with the help of examples how we used to write in old way in lambdas before Shisha 14. So here, this is the examples. Try parse int parse equal to a string text comma out int result goes to int dot try parse text comma out result, right? So here if you notice, we need to write a string and int for text and result respectively. If we omit this string and int, we would end up getting an error, right? So we need to write a string and int. So that's what I have written required to write type over here. If you have thought it earlier, when the types are already known, like from a delegate, why repeat yourself? So that's the idea C sharp 14 creators thought about it and came up with this new feature where we do not need to write type in lambda. So in new way, less typing, same power. See the examples shown over here. So here, what we did, we did not write a string or int and its compiler responsibility now to figure it out what the type would, would be. Thus it's cleaner, faster to write and just looks nicer, right? Now we understood that in C 14 we do not need to write type in lambdas but you must be thinking what all modifiers support this. That's what I have written which modifier works. Supported modifiers are ref in out scope ref read only. So yes all of these now work in lambdas parameters without needing the full type thanks to C sharp team. Now hold on not everything change. The params keyword still needs the full type. That's what I have written over here. Params still requires explicit types. Even in C 14, if you use params in a lambda, you must write the full type for the parameter. You cannot do something like this. Here if you notice, I have not mentioned type over here for the param. And that's what I have indicated over here, type needed for params. If you do not write the type over here and if you go and compile it, it won't compile. That's what I have written. This will not compile in C 14. Here I have written the correct way using params must specify the type and that's what I have mentioned the type over here for the params and that's the correct way of writing. So you must be thinking okay these modifiers are getting supported but not params. Why is it so? right? So the reason is the compiler needs to know exactly how to interpret a param parameters and without the type it can't pack the arguments into an array properly. That's why param still requires full type info even in C 14. Okay let's switch to the Visual Studio and see all these things in action. Alright so here we are in Visual Studio. Studio. Here we'll see the demo to understand the key concepts like ref, in, out, scoped, ref read only and how lambdas are evolving in C 14. To show the demo, what I have done, I have created one console application in Visual Studio 2022 preview tool and the console application name is lambda improvement demo that has program.cs file. So first of all, I have added necessary namespace say using system that includes code types like console, span and others. Then I defined couple of delegates like ref action, in action, out action, scope, span action, ref read only action and params action. So first delegate, delegate void ref action ref int value. This delegate is nothing but a type that can reference methods, take a ref int parameter and returns nothing. That's what return type is the void. Here ref int means the value is passed by reference and can be modified inside the method or lambda. Next delegate is in action where we have in int value, right? So this delegate is going to be passed by reference but is read only inside the lambda. That's what this in parameter means it. Now come to the third one out action a string input out int result. So this delegate with an out parameter commonly used for methods that output a value like try parse. Next we have the scoped a span action delegate where we have this scope parameter. So it is used with ref struct types like a span t. Here a scoped means it enforces that a reference doesn't escape its intended life and it is very very needed in terms of memory uses safely. Next we have the ref read only act. and here we are passing ref read only int value as a input parameter right so this parameter is passed by reference but the data cannot be modified next we have the params action and here i am going to accept a variable number of arguments using the params keywords 
that's what I have written params string array names and it only works with the explicit type declaration that we are going to see in this example. Then there is a class named program that has main method which is an entry point of this application. In main method first of all what I am doing I am just printing this statement into console window. What I am printing I am printing demo of using ref out in a scoped ref read only in lambdas without declaring types and here I have declared and initialized the number variable of the int type. That's what I have written int number is equal to 10. So in this program what I'm going to do I cover the old approach before C sharp 14 how we used to write the code and the new approach in C sharp 14 for using ref out in a scoped and ref read only so that we can compare and develop a solid understanding of this concept. So let's see first how we used to write the code in old way. That's what I have written old way before C sharp 14. So here in these lambdas we require explicit type with modifiers that's what I have written ref int value in int value similarly a string input out int result right a scope a span int a span and ref read only int value right and here I have written param a string array so so these lambdas in the old way require the explicit type with the modifiers and that's what we have mentioned over here so each of these follows the same rule if you use any modifier like ref out etc you must specify the parameter type explicitly now let's see the new way where we can use modifiers without declaring types and that's what I have written here ref action new ref ref value here in ref value I haven't mentioned int over here similarly in value I haven't mentioned int over here here I have mentioned input I have not mentioned a string over here right here also I have not mentioned any type of the result similarly for this scoped span action I haven't mentioned any explicitly type over here I just mentioned a scope span only ref read only I have mentioned ref read only value here also I haven't mentioned explicit type right but there is an exception that exception is something for the params whenever we are going to write params in lambdas we are still require the explicit typing that's what I have written a string array over here so you have seen how c 14 help us to write cleaner sorter code but there is an exception with the params params still requires the full type declaration even in c 14 this hasn't changed okay so what we are going to do now i'm just going to invoke this delegates right that's what i have written console write line old syntax i'm just calling this old ref ref number old in int number in number old output 1 2 3 out int result old scope stack alloc int array 1 2 3 here a stack alloc creates a span on the stack and which is required for the scope span int right that's why we need to pass something like this next we have next we have written old ref read only in number and then i have passing in params these string array that's what i have written rakesh akanksha vijay over here while calling this old params and then i have written in the new way how we are going to write it so here i have mentioned new ref ref number new in in number new out 456 out int result to new scoped stack alloc int 456 new ref read only in number and here in new params i am passing three parameters ravi james and frank it will be supported as a params a string array finally i have written the console dot read line list okay so you know how this program is a structure right let me go and execute this program and show this output to you okay so output got appear into this console window if you see this statement got printed demo of using ref out in a scope ref read only in lambdas without declaring type in old syntax old ref value 15 old in value 15 old out pass 1 2 3 old scope span length 3 old ref read only value 15 old params names Raki, Sakanksha and Vijay right in new syntax I'm getting value is equal to 20 value is equal to 20 past 4 5 6 span length is equal to 3 new ref read only value 20 and new params names Ravi James and Frank so all those things got printed with old way and the new way so this demo exactly demonstrate the same behavior but the lambda definition are more cleaner thanks to csha 14's new feature okay so whatever we discussed till now i try to put it in a table as shown below so this table shows which parameter modifiers in csha like ref in out scope ref read only and params can now be used in lambda expression without needing to explicitly write the parameter types thanks to csha 14 while most modifiers now support 
about this cleaner syntax param which is this one is the only one that still requires a full type declaration that's what i have written it is not going to support without type in c sharp 14 that's what i have written no it still needs full type over here Okay, so that brings me to end up my session today. To sum up, Shisha 14 lets you use lambda parameters modifiers like out and ref without needing to write full types, and thus it makes our code more cleaner and easier to read. But remember, params which still needs the explicit type. That's all for this video, guys. If you like this video, hit the like button, share it with your friends and colleagues, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done already. Thanks for watching. See you next video.